Uh, same thing up here on the ceiling. Add a little bit of that light, okay? And then what I am gonna do with the whole ceiling, um, I wanna add a little bit of, uh, of yellow because again, maybe there's a little bit of sunlight reflecting in even though it's ambient light. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of that up on the ceiling as well. I'm gonna put a little bit of that where the light might be falling. I'm gonna scrub in just a little bit of light there. Okay, same thing here. A little bit of light, kind of scrub a little bit of light in. Get a little bit of our yellowish color going there. All right, now for the ceiling, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start over on the side and I'm just carefully, cautiously, Going to go at about a 45 degree angle and kind of bring it all the way across. I'm going to make a couple stroke patterns like that, a couple stroke patterns like that. Just come all the way across. And then I like hand movements, so I'm going to just kind of get a couple little strokes going in there. All right, so that's where we're off to uh, with this illustration. Again, if you don't like um, some of these smudges on the ceiling, you just take your pencil and just go right over it. And if you wanted to blend that even further, you could take a cool gray, or you could take your clear blender, and you can go over the pencil. And what that does is the marker actually helps dissolve some of the wax in the pigment and gives you a little smoother um, tone. All right. So there we have it. Uh, we've got to start here with our walls and our ceilings, and then we're going to come back in and do a few other um, uh, pieces in a few moments.